In this video, I'm going to be breaking down how you can learn how to run the air raid offense in Madden 21 and also in Madden 22. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I just want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies going on right here on the YouTube channel. In this video, as I said before, I'm going to be sitting down with you guys and talking you through and kind of walking you through step by step over the course of the next couple of videos how to run the Air Raid offense. Now, I actually have a complete ebook or, an, or a, a complete update to the ebook on it that I just released in our True Fan membership for Patreon. If you haven't joined the Patreon yet, you can join that down in the description. Every single week, we upload uh, basically a meta update or a just a major update to our defense or our offense to show you kind of the latest stuff that we're doing or that we're learning and then we also share with you guys what the pros are doing what the best of the best are doing um, we're going to be breaking down spam and buttons he's won the friday night football tournament back to back to back and so i'm going to be breaking him down this week so really really excited to dive into that but what we're talking about in this video is we're talking about mesh and uh, this is kind of the first concept that I like to install in my air raid offense. Now, I want to talk specifically for just a moment about why spread um, in Madden versus why spread in real life and how it actually can kind of come back and forth uh, between one another. So the first reason why you would run a spread offense in real life is because you want to be able to throw the ball, you want to be able to stretch the field horizontally, and you also want to be able to stretch the field vertically. The cool part about spread, in my opinion, this is something that we saw this year for, I think, one of the first times in Madden is the power of spacing. In fact, J Wall winning the, the uh, club championship and the level next championship, both of the competitors in the level next finals were running trips tight in. Um, spread offenses are gaining momentum in the Madden community. Uh, I believe that over the course of the next couple of years, you're going to continue to see a rise of spread offenses. And the air raid is truly um, a perfect offense, in my opinion for bad and especially if you like to pass the ball and so we're going to walk you through kind of some of the core fundamental concepts of the air raid starting with this video where we're talking about mesh post and as we go through this i'm just going to be sharing with you kind of the core concepts how you can use them in Madden, and uh, why they are so powerful. So um, I'm in the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook. If you don't know, Cliff Kingsbury actually ran the air raid. He learned the air raid under one of my favorite coaches to study, which is Mike Leach when he was at Texas Tech, and he brought the offense to the NFL with, uh, with the Arizona Cardinals. And so in Madden, they've actually given us a pretty decent air raid playbook in the Arizona Cardinals offense. And the first concept that we're going to be going over is mesh Posts. Now, mesh is actually a, a concept that really is only talking about a couple of primary routes. We're going to use the curl wheel out of the Arizona Cardinals spread. Now, you can run mesh from anything, right? You can run it from 2x2. Two two, you can run it by 3x1. You can run it from compression, from spread. It doesn't really matter what the formation is. Mesh is a concept in which we can uh, really take advantage of. So all that to be said, let's dive into curl wheel. This is my favorite play in the entire game. And uh, as a general rule, I actually like to run my post route um, or I actually like to run this concept really with my post route coming from the short side of the field because I want to give that wheel route a lot of room to be able to work. So ideally we're on the right hash, but you can run it on both. I've had success with both sides. Um, and basically all we're going to do to set this up, we're going to first start with the uh, traditional Mabel coverage. And what we're going to do here, as you see here, we're just going to put our yellow up zone out there and then we're going to obviously kind of just put our user over the middle of the field. Now I've kind of set some traditional zone drops, but let's talk about the offensive routes for a second. So there's a couple different ways in which you could run this concept. The first way is you could just drag the two interior receivers and then you could put the square receiver on a little quick out or a little curl or even a dig. You could The, the, the outside receivers, um, you can change. The cool part about this concept is really the concept in essence is two drags underneath and then two routes outside to kind of stretch the, the defense. What really wanting to do is basically really force the defense to have to cover the whole horizontal little 10 yard section 
of the field is really what we're trying to do because this is going to really open up our four verticals passing concept, our Y cross series, uh, some of the other concepts that we're going to be going over. But I really believe that the air raid offense is really built on mesh. Some people tell you it's built off of four verticals. Um, they both are very core concepts to the air raid, but the mesh is my favorite to talk about. So it's, and it's honestly, I think it's the most effective uh, concept, at least in Madden, when you transition it to Madden. So anyways, the first way we can do this is we can run this simply like this right here. Um, with the running back, if you have Hot Route Master, I always recommend putting him on a table route. If you don't have Hot Route Master, just put him on a wheel route. Um, you can block the running back as well if you don't feel comfortable. If you want to have a little extra protection, you certainly can do that. You can put him on a block and release. The running back is one of the most important players in the air raid because he's the only player that you have to pick up pressure. So if they're showing pressure, you might want to block him or put him on a block and release or something. Okay, so but anyways, um, now let me just show you this mesh concept I have in my audibles. You notice here that this is the one little nuance of Madden. So if it's zone coverage, if I just run this play against zone, you're going to see that these drags are going to settle up in the green grass. Now, ideally, next season, we'll be able to do that from this same curl wheel play. But the post route from curl wheel is so good that I would rather have that post route than those two settle up in news kind of drags. But essentially what the concept is, is against man coverage, these drags would cross and they would keep running. Against zone coverage, these drags would basically turn into essentially hitches um, in terms of where they actually get to on the field. And so what I like to do in this game is I just like to use double drags and essentially challenge myself to pass lead them into hitches. So what I mean by that is you're gonna see here, I'm gonna drag the X receiver and the square receiver and then I'm gonna put the running back on a flat route, okay? Um, I love to keep this wheel route out here. Uh, Hal Mummy, the guy that's probably, a lot of people consider him the, the father of the air raid, really was one of the kind of main uh, people that really made this offense famous. What he would tell you is he would say, you know, triangle, you're gonna to wanna to put him on a flat route um, or a wheel route, okay? One of those two. Mike Leach would rather run the, run the mesh from the two inside slots crossing, as we showed already. Um, I'm telling you right now from the way that Madden works, this play is really good if you leave triangle on the wheel route. And I'm going to show you why um, this circle receiver is this post route. I believe it's the best route in the entire game. It gets in a, it, it gets basically open against any zone and man coverage. But if we wait on it here, you're going to see on the sideline that wheel route will draw so much attention that you can fit that ball into circle. Now, um, uh, give me a little bit of grace here because I don't have gunslinger. But if you have gunslinger, you can easily fit that ball in over a 25 yard zone over a 30 yard zone. It doesn't matter what the zone depth is. There's no zone depth that's gonna get over this route. This wheel route does a good job of pulling. You'll see they're gonna follow, 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 follow. And then that's gonna leave this little window right here. And again, I can't I can't quite get it with Brady's arm, but I, I, I'm telling you, I've thrown that route so many times. It's so, so good. Um, let me show you another way that you can hit this. The cool part about the post route, and the post route really honestly, whenever you're running a, a mesh concept, Essentially what you're doing is this is the quarterback's opportunity. The, the circle receiver is basically whatever the quarterback wants. Okay, so if you want to put him on an out route, there's mesh. That's where we talked about mesh dig, mesh corner, mesh post, right? You could do all of those, right? But um, I love the post route in Madden. Okay, you can we we're gonna have we're gonna break down mesh corner. We're gonna break down mesh dig. We're gonna break down mesh curl. Um, we're gonna dig down break down mesh curl wheel. So we're gonna break down all the stuff for you. Um, but it starts with mesh post for me. So, anyways, mesh post. Watch this post route. You're gonna see here. It's gonna get underneath this deep blue. You see it gets that nice spectacular uh, catch animation. It's really really effective as a result of that. Now the underneath is basically really your check down. And what's going to happen is they're going to be playing some able coverage, but their user has to go to circle. He has to go to circle. Okay. So if you start to see that they're, you know, that they're going to go to circle, then it's going to really open up this underneath drags. You've got these little drags underneath, easy check down. Now I want to just kind of give a little bit of a public service announcement. Um, this is where Madden is a little bit different than real life. Unfortunately, we can't get it to where we get those routes to, to drag and sit. It's just a very unfortunate reality of the game that we play, okay? So what we have to do 
if they, because if this guy's going here, what they'll basically do is they'll wait for uh, square to come and then they'll jet back on a circle. So what you could do, if you start to notice that they are running a lot of zone coverage, okay? If you start to notice they're running a lot of zone coverage, um, it's very, very simple. All we're going to do is we're going to put uh, square on an out route. We're gonna put triangle on a hitch route. We're going to take the X receiver right here and we're gonna put him on an out route. And then we're gonna put the running back on either a curl or a simple hitch route, okay? If you have high route master, you could also put him on a block and release hook. Um, but I, you know, the option route would be just fine for us. And basically what we're gonna be able to do now is if they're playing little soft zone coverage, you know, we can hit that out route right there real quick and real easy. Now, if they're playing more man-to-man, -man, remember the, the, the concept is that these routes would run. So another little trick that you can do is if you take triangle right here and we just motion him to the left, you're going to see that it's going to kind of create this um, interesting little um, kind of feature on this left side here. And you'll see that these are going to get a little bit more open. Obviously, your post route beats man. Um, the other thing that you can do if you're worried about man-to-man -man coverage, um, in this, in, in regs specifically, uh, mutt is a lot different, in my opinion, because you could put abilities on these guys. But if you're playing regs where you can't have abilities, you can't have over 90 route running, um, a really, really simple little technique is to take this tight end right here, uh, the X receiver, simply motion him to the right, and then run the same exact concept. This is really simple. Um, the running back will oftentimes get open, um, but also again, don't ever, don't ever forget, because they're running three, three, five wide, they have to use their middle linebacker, right? They have to use this guy. So if they're using this guy, then what's gonna happen is they're gonna have to choose who's gonna guard the running back. So it could be this guy right here, and then what you'll basically see happen as a result of that is number one, you're gonna have a mismatch to your running back. But number two, you're also, you're gonna see these natural little switch offs here. Um, but a lot of times one of these drives will actually end up coming open. One last little tip, if you are worried about man-to-man -man coverage in particularly, um, because of just how good shaded underneath man is from this, from this deal, um, what you can do is curl brown and kind of run it the Mike Leach way where you see here we've got a you know kind of a very simple concept but this curl route when it when it hitches up is going to be a nice it, that I shaded inside and underneath on the man and as you can see we're still able to hit it so what, I, what I'm getting at is you've got man reads on both sides they have to use our both sides in the man coverage and then what you've got is these underneath drag routes that really won't allow them to play uh, a defense where they don't have at least three to four people in their underneath coverages what that's going to start to do later on in this offense is it's going to start to open up the deeper routes down the field. So this is uh, Air Raid Mesh. Uh, one other little tip with this, if you wanted to run something like this Y cross, you see that we've got this like post curl route to the circle receiver. What you could do is you can stack these receivers. So you see here I'm going to stack them just like this. And we're going to run Mesh. Uh, we're going to run the same concept, Mesh Post but we're gonna use curl routes. This is another little little technique you can use against man-to-man. -man. So you're gonna see you're gonna create this little natural, um, you know, kind of picks and rubs here, and then we're gonna use um, these, these, these little curl routes in behind them. And what's really good about this curl route, it looks exactly like the post, but as you can see, it is a post curl, so he's gonna sit in the zone coverage. Reason this is really good is if they are doing, um, if, if, they are, if they are like running Mabel coverage where they're dropping their yellow zones, then what this is gonna do um, is it's going to open up the middle of the field, right? Because you've got curls on both sides of the field. And again, you wanna run this from the Y cross play, but we've got double drags. And what I would honestly do is probably something like this. I like the slot curls um, just because they're gonna get in a really unique little position in the zone coverage. So you're gonna see, you're gonna sit right here and look at where these curl routes, you got two curl routes sitting in the in, inside of this field. This is really, really good against Mabel coverage. So those are a couple of different ways to run the mesh post concept. Uh, mesh post is really the foundation for the Arizona Air Raid and uh, it's kind of the step one. So if you like this offense and you wanna learn my complete Air Raid offense, I'd encourage you to sign up for our True Fan membership um, in the description of this video. It's not only good for the air raid, it's good for all of the meta offenses and defenses that I create throughout the season. So make sure to come over there and check that out. Some really, really good material 
on that website there. So thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I want to encourage you to join that Patreon down in the description where you can get those offensive, defensive updates every single week, and you can also get pro player analysis.